Okay, now I want to talk about something that's not quite our primary goal, but it's something that happens very often along the way. Okay, when I kick my left leg up and over, a lot of times I have loosened up Bird's connection to my hip just enough that his elbow is still floating in front of my hip, but it doesn't have a lot of downward pressure. Okay, and when I go to kick up and over, a lot of times you can accidentally or intentionally bump his elbow across and end up in an arm bar here. Okay, I consider something like this not to be my primary goal because he can avoid having this done very easily just by moving his elbow. He can't really avoid me kicking up and over his head like this. He doesn't have the leverage to actually pin this down. If you were to try to lean all his weight on it, I can just keep going further around him. Then he can fall or I can pry bar his face up. Okay, or I can do it a little more explosively. All right, but like I said, if his arm is floating in this area, when I go to kick up and over after I've made a little bit of pressure release, okay, it's okay to bump this up into the arm bar. All right, I consider this like a free cookie. He is fucked up and I don't have to do any more work. Now, because I have this arm out of play, he doesn't actually have a lot he can do to defend the armor. It's actually even difficult for him to stack into me because I can put so much clamp pressure down and keep him off at this angle. Now at this point, I can use one arm or I can use both arms and I can start to lift my hips and pinch my knees and finish a traditional arm bar. Now you can also, because this arm is trapped and he has no real ability to move, peel this other arm up here and then start to drop a lot of pressure down into a straight arm up here, okay? That again is going to be situational. It's, you're not going to be able to guarantee this all of the time. Like if I didn't have his arm trapped, I'm not going to try to straight arm this because he'll feel comfortable turning into me and alleviating a lot of this pressure. Okay. It's not that you can't do it. It's just going to be a lot harder. Okay. But if I have that arm trapped, he doesn't have a lot he can use to defend. So then I can do the arm bar here or I can do the straight arm here. Now, along those same lines of catching submissions along the way to our primary series. Okay. You can also transition to a triangle very easily. So when I kick way out, up and over, I don't always have to come back over his head like this, especially in a guy who's maybe clamping, he's keeping his hand on me, not, not his forearm, but his hand, something I could just clamp over his neck with. Or if I put a lot of downward pressure, as soon as I start to kick over, sometimes I can get them to post their hand on the mat. So originally I was pry barring up to alleviate the tension. And then as soon as I start kicking over, I pull his head down to make him post his hand. And then I can come back around his neck and I can catch my triangle, okay? And along that same line, once I'm in this position where I'm in my Kimura Trap series, there's not really a lot he can do to stop me from just rotating my left leg up and around his neck, okay? Uh, there's just such a little margin for me to skim that he doesn't have the leverage to reach up and actually block it. Go ahead, block it, okay? He can a little bit, like I can clamp over that because he's just using his hand. It doesn't have a lot of leverage up over his head like this. And then I can transition to a very traditional triangle and I can go from the triangle because I have this arm peeled out already back to a straight arm, but it's gonna be a little bit stronger from here because I'm able to actually push my hips away, scooch my knees out and drop my knee onto this straight arm, okay? Or I can start to rotate his arm and just apply a lot of downward pressure at his elbow, all right? So we have three or four submissions we can catch either intentionally, deliberately, or on accident. If you guys really want to force the arm bar, okay, just pay extra attention to his elbow location, all right? And I just want to use my hips when I swing this out to actually bump Bird's elbow across. And again, now you're just going to finish the arm bar from here. And if he pulled his arm out, you go to the triangle. Or if he pulls his arm out, you just go to your Kimura Trap series, okay? So a couple different options.